Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skills. Today is our day number 23. Day 23. Today we have a very straightforward simple question and for those of you who know how, how to tackle it would probably find it uh, too, too trivial and too childish but then again that's always the case in life because for those of you who do not know how to handle this thing will find it interesting and will get something out of it so it's a judgment call you will have to make as to how useful this, this video is going to be to you here's the question, the question simply is what is the unit digit of 12 raised to 4 times 19 raised to 2 times 33 raised to 3. Now, as always I remind you and if I forget it you should know by now yourself as soon as I finish setting up the problem pause the video immediately and start working on it yourself. There is no point watching the solution and then try to solve it yourself because you already know the, the game is up. You already know there is no there is no there is no learning and you, because you're just copying it. Do it yourself first. Pause the video. Do what you whatever it is you can do and then come back and, and compare the works. Okay, for so the work that you do yourself and the work that we are about to do together. So I'll give you a sec few seconds to pause it and resume it. Oh, so what do we do here? Well, 12 raised to 4. 12 raised to 4 is 12 times 12 times 12 times 12. Of course. Stay with me in the story here. Okay, stay with me in the story. There's no need to freak out because unlike the classroom where the teacher says something and that something is gone forever, you can rewind the teacher and listen to it again. Here, you can rewind me. Remind me as much as you want. And uh, if you miss something, you can always go back to it. Here is what's going on. If we want to multiply 12 and 12 times 12, we know it's 144. But we didn't have to do, we didn't have to actually do it out to realize that the unit digit of 12 times 12 should be 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. So, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is going to give me, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is going to give us 16. 8 times 2 is going to give us 16, you see? 2 times 2, the product of these two numbers is going to end in 4. And then once you have 144, in other words, 144 times 12 should end in an 8, because 2 times 4, 4 times 2 is 8. That's where your 8 is. And then whatever that answer is, you're gonna, we don't actually have to do it out. Whatever that answer is, which ends in an 8, if you multiply a number that ends in an 8 with another 12, that, that answer, if you have a number that ends with an 8, and if you multiply by 12, the product of these two numbers should end in a 6, because two, 8 times 2 is 16. So, this whole thing ends in a 6. Let's look at 19. You get the idea now, very simple. 19 times 19, well, 9 times 9 is 81. Which means the product of these two numbers, whatever, whatever it is, it should end in, end in a 1. That's all. I'm going to bring it down, you'll see why, because I'm very picky about how I put things. Should end in a 1. Let's do the last one. It's a different color. We have a, let's do green. We haven't done green yet. 33 times 33, product of these two numbers should end in a 9, because 3 times 3 is 9. The unit is going to be 9. Times on the 33, 9 times other oh, 9 9 times 3 9 times 3 this is ends in a 9 times 3 should end in a 27 should end in a 27 I did it again this I did not go now not really it should end in a 7 one more time I'm going to explain it 3 times 3 is 9 9 9 times 3 
is 27, which means the product of these three numbers, 33 times 33 times 33, whatever it is, should end in a 7. Okay, almost done. Therefore, therefore, the product of these three quantities, the product of these three quantities, this one, which, which is this part right here, and then this one, which is this part right here, and then this one, which is this part, we know the product of this 12 raised to 4 ends in a 6, 19 raised to 2 ends in a 1, 33 raised to 3 ends in a 7, therefore the product of all of these numbers is 6 times 1, which is 6 times 7, 6 times 7 is, 6 times 7, 6 times 6 is 36, 36, 42, so ends in a 2, that's it, the answer is 2. Oh, I did not put down the answer choices, did I? The answer is 2. A bit too late in the game to put down the answer choices, but in case you're curious how answer choices were laid out, they were simply, the answer choices were laid out in a very creative manner, right, like this. There we go. And the correct answer, of course, is B. The power of these three numbers should end in a 2. That's all. The unit digit of this product is 2. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I tutor over the internet via Skype and of course face to face and over the telephone. I tutor for math, uh, math subjects, algebra, geometry, statistics, or if you're preparing for GRE, GMAT, SAT, or TOEFL, I provide prep, uh, prep courses for those as well. Go to any of these website addresses that you see there and send me an email. Or you can go to kishwaniprep.com and you can send me an email from there as well. Okay, thanks.